the heart of the Free Star Collective. You got some business with me? Oh. Hey. Well, if the money. Just so you know what you get. Well, the Free Star Rain. We might. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe. All she wanted to do was talk about Aquila City's history. Like most things that are worth. But. I imagine you. Founder of the Free Star Collective. How pathetic is Okay, then. A word about myself. That being said, the marshal. So, what's it? Besides, it's a dangerous job. Before I, you helped out. Tell you, come back alive. Read some Then I suggest. Meet her halfway, you know. Yeah, you're right. Yes, I've got some homework to do with this.
mess with me? All right. Always paint. Oh, you're back. How'd it go? Well, don't love it too much. Bloodthirsty ain't high on the list of qualities we're looking for. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me.
headquartered in the upper floors of the rock, but we also have remote stations throughout Freestar Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. Not everyone gets to say there are less than a dozen far. rangers at all. We operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. This job. Your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Excuse me, Marshal. Emma! I gave you here because you satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Violent tendencies aside, I'd say yes. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? That's not quite the same thing, but it'll do for now. Here, take these. You're now a Freestar Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. You've made a wise choice, but I trust that your duties as a Ranger won't interfere with your service to Constellation. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Sooner we get to Montero Luna, the better. See you. Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. That's right. The uniforms look like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who are used to violence. I was in fear for my life. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. 
All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those canyons. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Good eye, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Definitely passed this way. Let's just hope they're not perched up on these tiny walls, waiting to snipe at us.
other means, I don't get as much field work as I used to. tracker. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. Normally, I'd suggest you choose your words carefully so we could avoid bloodshed. But something tells me that isn't going to be possible. Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. 
It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special, but that ain't none of your business. Is that so? Well, we're mighty comfortable right where we are. What's more, we've got numbers. Seems to me you're playing with a weak hand. So, got any last words I should try to remember? Oh, I think it does. We've been found out! Don't let him leave here alive! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Running away, eh? Don't let him get away! Damn! That was a lot rougher than I expected. Let's talk. Are you okay? No way their common thugs are hired muscle. The weapons, the training, the steel nerves. No, these guys were professionals. That badge with the number one? I feel like I've seen that before, but... It was a long time ago. Not usually. Most of the bad guys we run into are smart enough to stand down when they see the badge. Really? Guess you've led a pretty exciting life. Maybe the less I know about that, the better. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find something that explains what these guys were up to. Likewise. What happened? Did you find those men? Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Huh? 
Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. They say the rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? All right. Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside Hotech. Ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it, resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago, after the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway. I suppose it ain't impossible, but... it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. No, it doesn't. Just raises more questions. It's a good bet that Starship Thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective, so we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the First Cavalry. Good hunting. Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. 
if anyone is hearing this. System's failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Approaching ship. You've entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Scan complete. You're clear to land. It's you. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the grand tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. 
We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting.
Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. Hey. Keep an eye on your valuables. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. I have never liked Hope Tech ships. No, I suppose that is hardly the point of them. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have Enjoy an your visit to Hope Tech floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burgett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling being a Free Star Ranger. We certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Then, I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead some kind. Hmm? 
Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo holder. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? We'd be dust except for the factory. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But the Neon's a different kind of place. Good. That should help you avoid any unnecessary complications. Well, we've both got work to do. 
It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy.